Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've uh, got a bonus video for you this week. And we're going to cover the state of foreclosures uh, in the marketplace right now and where we're at with foreclosures in general for real estate. Um, before I get into it, please take a second. Uh, please hit the like button on the video. Please subscribe to the channel, guys, and hit the bell notification so you get notified of everything that we're doing. And uh, don't forget, we've got the email list you can sign up for. And if you want more exclusive content, there's Patreon. Uh, now, also, one other thing is that if you guys want foreclosure information, you're interested in the foreclosure market, the hottest site, without a doubt, is foreclosure.com. Foreclosure.com is giving, I allegedly, uh, uh, subscribers seven days free on the site. And uh, use the link below. They give you seven days for absolutely free. And you can check out foreclosures around the country and also set up uh, uh, you know, watch lists and things like that for your city, county, or whatever you're interested in. Now let's get into it. First things first, I'm outside of the Huntington Beach Library in Huntington Beach, California, which this is, it's arguably one of the best libraries I've ever been to. And as a single parent, I used to go here all the time with my kids because great entertainment, but just an amazing place. And then you've got things like this lake outside. It's just absolutely just a stunning spot. But let's talk about the foreclosure market. I have a friend that I have grown up with since junior high. We sat next to each other and because our last names start with the same letter, we were you know, seated next to each other in homeroom in junior high. Well, Jay ends up becoming a foreclosure expert. And you know, we talked to, about Jay in the past, but I got to spend three hours with Jay yesterday and it was amazing to learn where foreclosures are at right now when it comes to real estate. Now, here's the thing. People right now are having a difficult time. People are not paying their bills right now. Uh, people are definitely three and four months behind on making their house payments. It's happening all over the country. But what we're experiencing right now is never in the history of the Republic have we seen a time where people don't pay their bills and they're not thrown out of their house. They're not evicted. They're not foreclosed upon. That is just not happening. Now, here's the thing that's crazy. This guy's company does the entire foreclosure process. They will post the house. They will, you know, list the sale on the home. They will do the foreclosure sales. They will go to the county steps and they will, you know, sell those houses when people are in actual foreclosure. The only problem right now is that this is not happening right now. The banks are giving people every opportunity under the sun, absolutely everything, to get themselves out of foreclosure right now. Back in the day, let's say three years ago, four years ago, you'd get yourself three, four months behind on your house and you're, you're done, you're finished. They're going to foreclose on you and there is nothing you could do about that. You could delay it and you could, you know, file bankruptcy and you could, you know, uh, pull shenanigans with the banks, but eventually they were going to foreclose on you and unload the house to get it back to the bank. Now, this is not happening right now. You are not seeing the number of foreclosures that you've seen in, in previous, you know, generations. Let's put it that way. People right now are in what they call pre-foreclosure, which means that they are three months behind, but there has not been a foreclosure, a foreclosure notice filed yet. That's really common right now. But one thing that the banks are doing is they are giving people every opportunity under the sun, everything, to not get to the foreclosure sale. Now, foreclosures are trickling up right now. They're definitely going up higher and higher and higher uh, over previous years, which is okay. But one thing that's, that's not happening is that you're not seeing the number of people um, actually get to the point. Little girl was just feeding the ducks, they're all there. You're not seeing the actual transfer and the people losing their homes right now. The banks are getting zero excess inventory right now. So if you go what they call REO, real estate owned properties, that is not happening right now. You're not seeing uh, banks build their inventory. And it's a, it's a phenomenon right now that you have to look at. And what I mean by that is the banks right now are saying, oh, people have equity right now. They can get themselves out of this. And they are making horrific deals with these people. And Warren Buffett once said that when somebody needs money, 
It's like oxygen for a drowning man. He'll take anything he can get. Well, that's a horrible way to run your life. It's a horrible way to run your business. The problem with it is that people get themselves three and four months behind in these house payments, six, 12 months behind when they should have lost the property already and that's not happening. But what the bank is doing is the bank is making second mortgages, adding things on the end, refinancing the houses at much higher interest rates for people and they're, oh yeah, 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 we get to keep the house, we get to keep the house and it's horrific right now. But you're not seeing the actual foreclosure sales happening like they should be or like they would be and it's not my, my friend's got what I would call a mid-sized company it's not small but it's not huge you know where they should be seeing the activity for these foreclosures that they are not seeing right now and it's absolutely and utterly fascinating that the banks don't want to do this right now so what is it? Is it political? Are they waiting for the midterms, guys, before they drop the hammer and have a slew of foreclosures? Because the problem with it is that you're going to see an absolute insane number, and I mean an insane number of people that are going to lose their houses at some point in the coming 90, 120 days. That's going to happen because the banks are not going to continue to be able to push things down the road, push things down the road, because some of these people that are getting these new loans and these second mortgages are not paying on them as well. So this is creating nothing but a problem in this marketplace right now. So the foreclosure people go to the steps and they're going to sell your house. You guys haven't made your payment right now on average. Think about this with all the bureaucracy, it adds five months, five months to the foreclosure process. So not only are you three months behind, four months behind, you're now an additional five months behind, you could be nine months behind right now on making your house payment. So if you're not making that payment, it just gets put off, put off, put off, put off, and nobody cares, okay? But the banks right now are not building up the inventory. The one thing that you used to go to is you'd go to the bank and say, hey, show me all your, your foreclosed properties. We don't have any. They don't have any right now. And after talking to Jay, it is crazy because, guys, you cannot kick the can down the road like this forever. You can't just sit there and say, hey, it's not a good time to evict people right now. We have the health crisis. We've got this. We've got that. It's hot outside. And they didn't care. You understand? People got evicted and got foreclosed upon in the snow. They got it, it, there was a tornado down the street and they got foreclosed upon. You know, it was hot out, cold out, raining, you know, whatever. It made no difference. So those excuses right now don't carry water. The banks just don't want to do this right now. But what the banks are doing is the banks are building up this reserve inventory because they know that the day is going to come, the day of reckoning, that they're going to have to respond to this. And if you think that the people that are out there that are delusional, the people that sit there and say, hey, real estate's so good, Dan. You don't know what you're talking about. Your friends don't know what you're talking about. Scott Walters is an idiot. He has no clue. You guys are in, in California and California's you know, higher price than everybody else. That may be, okay? But what's not gonna happen is the bank's eventually gonna have a day of reckoning where they're going to have to, uh, you know, hey, Mr. Jones, pay up or get out. Oh, well, we've been here so long. Do you really have to do that? No, it is over with, guys. It is absolutely over with. But from talking to this guy, it is absolutely crazy how the foreclosure process, you know, once somebody gets into foreclosure, think about this, just the paperwork itself, and he explained it to me, how, you know, it went from a few pages to an additional five pages. It's got to be in all these different languages now. All this stuff that has to be done to protect people, to give them their rights, which is fine, okay? But it just the delay tactics and delay tactics and delay tactics of when people are not paying. They're just not paying right now. And the number of people that are in this foreclosure status, look at the, the uh, news stories below because there's a bunch of them talking about this. The... Uh, top 50 states and uh, the order of the 50 states and who's got the most foreclosures. Number one, Illinois is still number one. I was shocked Delaware was number two. You've got uh, 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 Nevada's in there, Ohio's in the top five, but California's 
they're number 11 guys as far as the number of foreclosures right now now i love foreclosure.com we've talked about that those sites are only going to explode with the information that you can get because this is is they're taking people that have just not paid and putting them in the pre-foreclosure category and not calling them in foreclosure so it's crazy guys there's going to be a day of reckoning very soon very soon where these banks are going to have to have people pay up or get out i mean it is that simple guys there is no way around it and uh now you know there are ways to get foreclosed on right now still now the number one area where people are getting foreclosed on is notice of delinquent assessment that's not paying your hoa dues that's not uh paying your taxes things like that they're foreclosing on people for that absolutely and Jay is dealing with that right now. So, you know, people that uh, went out and got themselves, you know, a reverse mortgage and just didn't make the payment and they're not gonna make the HOA payment. Well, they're gonna foreclose on you. They're gonna lose that house. And that's the other thing is that it's fascinating, guys. You have a relative that you may be an heir to their estate and they got a reverse mortgage. People just walk away right now. Nothing we can do. They got a reverse mortgage. But yeah, you can. There's a hundred things you can do. And if you went out and got yourself a quality real estate professional you could sell the house pay off the lien and have the house and have the asset and maybe have something you know for the heirs look at that okay but there are some foreclosures happening right now but again this is nothing compared to what it should be nothing so the day of reckoning i really think after november all hell is going to break loose and from talking to this guy you're going to see that now the other thing is you have to be aware of the real estate scams. People are so desperate right now to get themselves out of things that they will do anything to get themselves out of these uh, terrible predicaments. Uh, my favorite story ever was a real estate guy I know, Jeff, who lived here in Huntington Beach. And Jeff gets a phone call and says, hey, I didn't know you were listing your house for rent. It's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I found it on Craigslist. Somebody took Jeff's house, by the way, Jeff's a real estate agent, and put it on Craigslist for rent and was taking applications for Jeff's house, which is kind of funny. So Jeff called in his own house, which was fascinating. And needless to say, uh, Jeff got to the bottom of that one. And, uh, you know, but beware because there's real estate scammers out there. Speaking of scams, the big one right now is that people say, hey, you can buy the building. It's people in Brooklyn, immigrants in Brooklyn were victimized by... Uh, uh, she who Wu, Mr. Wu, call me Stephen. Stephen was a Chinese man who went out and uh, went to a bunch of immigrants in his building and said, listen, you guys can buy the building from me. I'm a very successful real estate developer and took deposits for people from one hundred to four hundred and sixty thousand dollars. It totaled over four million dollars that this snake took from these people. Only problem he had no ability to do that and no problem. The guy then went out and refinanced the building and didn't make the mortgage payment to where the people faced foreclosure in this. Now they got a lawyer and they've been suing and trying to fight this back and forth, but this is the typical example of a real estate scam that you have to be leery of. Do not look at a quick fix. Do not look at buying the building. Again, hey, you can buy this place. Take a look at the people you're buying from. Take a look at the people you're renting from. People get so desperate. I gotta get this place. I've told you guys about this a hundred times where people, you go out and hey, we're taking applications. We need $40 to run your credit what's in cash fill it out and uh give us the 40 dollars here only problem is they don't run the credit they steal 40 dollars. now you can sit there and say how does that work well some of these places can get 80 people in a day so it's it's quite lucrative to do this scam sorry you didn't qualify single man dan okay you're just not our guy okay thanks for the 40 dollars. good luck next time Again, guys, I just wanted to do a very quick video for you today, but the foreclosures are not happening. Look at the stories below. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you guys uh, want information on foreclosure.com, that's below. And I love it because it's, it's updated weekly and it is slowly growing, okay? Right now, it's going up about 1% uh, a month as far as the number of inventory, but there are thousands of houses that are in pre-foreclosure territory 
which is the kiss of death. These are the people that are going to lose their homes. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I'll be back on the regular schedule tomorrow. Onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon.